And this video proves it with this young lady getting into this Uber driver's face. Women are not afraid of men. Um, I think that the whole protect women is only propaganda to get people to donate to women's organizations and things of that nature. End up like girl on the bus, you go into jail now. <laughs> right, right, Carlos. You going to jail now. That was an epic video, by the way. That was an epic video, man. Oh, that was an epic video. Oh, that was an epic video. I, 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 I just think that video pretty much just showed y'all. That was years ago, by the way. That was years ago. But that same type of behavior is only increasing in the boldness of women, right? Let's go to book out of case. Women are becoming more and more bolder to be disrespectful towards men. And in this video with the Uber driver, he's a foreigner. <clears throat> he's not one of these American uh, males, right? You know, he's probably not even used to this type of behavior. But again, I think he was hesitant one because he was being recorded i think he's required made by the company to record his drives right he didn't want to lose his job but also he wasn't he was dealing with a female that may have been from a similar culture to him i'm not 100 sure she could be you know of a different culture uh maybe i'm profiling but you know he was hesitant i don't do you think he would have been as hesitant if one of them sisters got up in his face So, as I said before, and I'm going to keep saying it, women are not afraid of men. Uh, women will get up in the faces of dudes. This is why when dudes are afraid to approach a woman, I, I mean, I don't know why you would be because women aren't afraid to approach you. Like, I, I literally, I was in the store one time, and this lady just walked up to me and said, hey, can you help me? And I'm like, well, I look like I work in this store. <laughs> but that, again, you know, maybe because, you know, I guess, you know, people are comfortable around me, you know. I mean, they're not weirded out by me. They can, they walk up to me, you know. So, I guess in that, that instance, uh, she did. And she asked me to help her with something in the store like I work. I, at first, I was about to say, I don't work here. But she was an older lady. So, I said, okay. You know. <laughs> I'm a nice guy. What can I say? But, when, women, for the most part, um, will act a certain way because again they have issues in their own life father didn't probably didn't have a father figure right their home life was terrible they probably grew up in the system or they grew up living with relatives they've never known what love was like and i said it earlier that this female probably had to get into altercations with people growing up because she may have been like the non-melanated chick around you know melanated girls growing up so she always had to get into it and, and act tough there's a facebook page called asians never die and they share this story post there is a lot of anti black commentary in that thread from members i mean that doesn't surprise me um people feel some type of way about us and you know what that's you know it is what it is that's part of life that's part of life you know and uh I think that those other groups do don't like us, but you know what? I don't care as long as you don't say it in front of my face. Like people can say anything in a comment section or a message board. I've been there. I used to see what was said in, in, in comment sections on websites um, about us, especially us as black men. I've seen it, but you know what? I don't let that dictate my life. I don't care what a stranger has to say about me on a on a social media post. But what I am troubled by is the fact that we perpetuate these stereotypes and we're out here making things worse for ourselves. And when I say that, it's because all these videos of us doing crazy things, we post them. We always recording, but we ain't never seen nothing. All right? We're we're recording the crazy things that we do i would knock the panda express out them boppers <laughs> yeah i mean you know listen he probably thought about it and said you know what i don't want to lose my job but again would you blame him 
You know, would you blame him? Like, this is totally unnecessary. But he probably has a family to take care of. A lot of these chicks don't care that these men have families. They have a wife. They have children that they have to take care of. They just want to ruin somebody's day. They didn't like the fact that he told them to get out of his to get out of his car because it tells me that the reason why he started recording was because they were already acting up when they got into his car. So because they got into his car acting up, they felt the need. No, no, he felt the need to record them and kick them out. So they felt the need to retaliate and get angry instead of leaving. They don't think about things. They just think about the emotion. That's why, you know, women are very, very much emotional. Women are more emotional. Well, and that may not be true nowadays. I think you got just as many emotional women as you do emotional males. These males are as emotional as women. Ouch. What's up, Silent Gary? Appreciate it. These males are just as emotional as the women. I mean, there's no difference. There's literally no difference with these guys. So I can't just say women are emotional. These males are emotional too. Uh, years of being raised by a single mother um, has ruined these males to beyond repair, right? To beyond repair. They have been ruined. Shout out to everybody. So make sure y'all like the stream. I want y'all to also understand that in today's age, Men have to look east and west constantly to avoid the pitfalls of cancel culture, of uh, being falsely Cardi accused. Cardi B, Meg you know? and JT help these poison girls. It wasn't just them. I think this is a, what's happening now. I think they're benefiting to the slower culture, but I think it's been it's been building for quite some time. I think it's been building for quite some time. Once you gave women the the, 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 the opportunity to put photos of themselves on the internet and you know that changed everything you know instagram looked a lot different what 10 years ago than it did now i mean the women were a lot more clothed now every page you go to no matter if it's a small page or a big page they all of them trying to be scrippers all of them trying to be ig models you got chick with a couple thousand followers she trying to be a, a instagram model you know, even though she's working and got kids to take care of, she finds the time to go and thirst trap. Good luck trying to find a good man doing that. You should be thirst trapping for the guy that you're in the relationship with. And I'm not talking about on public posts. But times are different. Times are different. And um, a lot of what's going on, man, we, we are dealing with a different type of crazy um the lunacy out here has grown and i want y'all to understand that calling this stuff out is not bashing you're speaking the truth about what is being done i don't think anything is wrong with that i don't think anything is wrong with that i think that a lot of these females are just losing their minds they're going crazy and they just don't know how to deal with the reality that a lot of them are not going to find the guy that they want. They're not going to get that rich, that rich man that they all are clamoring for. I think they're being sold a dream by the quote unquote level up communities, by the gold diggers. They've been sold the dream by the women that they follow. They think they can follow in those footsteps, right? Like not every chick with a nice body or in the gym got to be a fitness trainer, but you don't have one photo of you with a client. I mean, it's delusion. Um, your modern day female is completely delusional. She does not see what the reality of the world is. And the world has changed. And you, you got to understand that men have always had to adjust. Women have never really adjusted. Women have just adapted. We have to adjust to not only having to deal with false accusations, having to deal with belligerent women who think that they could they can get away with disrespecting us, right? women who have power who you know misuse it um, 
we have to look at a lot of things guys that have money and resources right they gotta do they don't want they get married they don't want to have to divorce their wife because they already know what's going to happen that's why those guys don't get married right so that's just a lot of the pitfalls that we have a lot of things that we have to deal with i just think people i just hope people understand that that you know you got women who try to take advantage of guys because they think that they can get that guy in trouble and a lot of these guys are in a no-win situation because they say, hey, if I retaliate, I'm going to get fired. You know, I may, I may face charges. And I don't want to necessarily have to deal with that. Right? They don't want to have to deal with that. But in today's day and age, man, there's really no way that you can avoid the, the Uber issues. driver should have driven to the police station. <clears throat> he, I, I believe he filed a report. I think he filed a report, you know. A lot of these modern women are gonna die alone. Well, don't tell them that. <laughs> That's gonna make them angry. Shout out to Vernon. Vernon, appreciate the cash out, bro. Don't tell them that, it'll drive them crazy. But yes, I do agree. A lot of them are going to be very much alone and they're gonna be suffering. <laughs> And they have nobody to blame but themselves. You can't blame content creators. You can't blame, you know, people speaking their opinions. We got to look at the, why these modern women are just completely losing their minds. We got to look at the, the overall issue here. They've gotten away with this for so long. The reason why they can go off on this Uber driver is because they've done this before. And a lot of these guys don't want to get fired from their jobs. So they take it, unfortunately. But men are the problem. But men are just out here just going, you know, just going after women. That's a lie. That's propaganda. Yes, you have stories of men who don't handle rejection well, but it's all propaganda. Women have used the law and authority to cover their bad choices since they were kids. Appreciate that pot smoke. Oh yeah, they use everything. They use the court of public opinion, which is actually very strong. The court of public opinion is very strong, okay? And when you're dealing with the court of public opinion, you're gonna have to deal with the fact that you're gonna be judged based off of her being a woman and you being a man. So anything she says is immediately gonna be believed, right? She's going to be put in that situation where she's going to be able to tell people what you said or did to her. And a lot of people are going to believe her first because you have to believe all women. That's the narrative they want to go off of. 